welcome to Finance Conversations. This is the 80th episode of the Merging Life Family Show, and I'm super excited to be here with you. I'm back after two weeks of leave for medical reasons, uh, but thanks to technology, I was able to replay two of my older shows. In any event, today is a very notable day in the world. Queen Elizabeth II died at the age of 96 after the longest reign in British history. She will be mourned around the world as one of the last monarchs born during the golden age of European royalty when kings and queens had real political power. Today is also International Literacy Day. Well, every year on September 8th, people around the world celebrate International Literacy Day to bring attention to literacy problems in their communities and around the world. UNESCO, which is the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, started International Literacy Day in 1966 to remind the public of the importance of literacy as a matter of dignity and human rights. So welcome to the Merging Life and Money Show. And today we will be talking about why should women be financially educated, which is, I would say, the first step to literacy. You cannot be literate if you are not educated because the last I check, literacy is a major, me, I would say, the measure of competence. So before I get into it, let me introduce myself. For those of you who do not know me, I am your host, Marie Jo César. I help professional women transform their relationship with money by tooling them with the necessary financial skills and knowledge they need to take control of their money, manage their finances, and understand and recognize that they can live their best life yet with the money they have. So thank you for joining in today. If you are watching the replay, make sure to type hashtag replay in the show, and I should say in the chat, and uh, and leave me um, some comments and questions. Okay, so I come to you live every Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time to share tips, tools, techniques, inspiration, motivation, and to give you valuable information about how to achieve financial wellness and live your life with means and meaning. As you may know, the Merging Life and Money Show's primary uh, purpose and my very strong why, W-H-Y, is to empower as many women as I possibly can by sharing what I know about money and finance so that they can live their greatest life yet. So grab a pen and a notebook, whether you are a bread maker or a breadwinner or both, because you might want to take some notes and share them and also talk about them with family members, friends, neighbors, co-workers, because it is all about sharing values that could benefit others. And if you are listening on iHeartRadio, Pandora, Spotify, or any major podcast platform, welcome. I am glad you have joined in today. So let us begin the importance of financial education for women. Well, financial education is not just about learning how to manage money. It is also about gaining control over your life and your future. That is why every woman needs to have a solid financial education under her belt. Today, I will focus on three reasons why women should be financially educated. The first one is that women are often the ones who are in charge of the household finances 
and making decisions about the, fam the family budget. That's a fact. The second reason is that financially educated women are more independent, make better financial decisions, and understand their rights and responsibilities when it comes to money. And the third and last reason is that women must be able to plan for their retirement and make better financial decisions in their later years. So I will start by saying that while women have been making great strides in the workforce over the past many decades, right? There is still one area where they lag behind male, their, their male counterpart, and that is financial education. As a matter of fact, only about a third of women say that they are very confident in their ability to make sound financial decisions compared to nearly half of men, according to a poll uh, taken by the Financial Planning Association. The truth of the matter is that the reason women feel less than when it comes to money or finance and um, the, the, the lack of confidence is because they are less likely than men to receive any sort of financial um, education, I would say structured financial ed education, either in school or from their parents. Okay, it is important to note that financial education is not just about confidence, as it is also about making sound financial decisions that can have a big impact on your life. And again, it is a fact that women who are financially educated, as I mentioned before, are more likely to start their own businesses, buy a home, and achieve financial independence. So why isn't it financial education more widely available to women? Well, part of the problem is that um, the financial services industry is still largely male-dominated. We all know that. But there are also a lot of cultural barriers to financial education for women. In many families, money is still seen as a man's domain. Okay, And in a recent study, researchers looked at how gender stereotypes and traditional gender roles play a role in preventing women from getting the education they need to achieve financial security. The finding, actually, the findings uh, were quite alarming. Uh, it turns out that cultural factors such as pervasive myth about women's ability and lack of confidence can create significant roadblocks to becoming financially educated. So, what can we possibly do to break down these barriers and help women achieve financial success? Well, I would say that we need to, one, promote women's visibility in the financial world, two, challenge outdated beliefs about who can and who cannot be successful investors, and three, provide women with accessible financial education resources. And only then will we start to see real progress in closing the gender gap when it comes to financial success. I will also add that even when women do have access to financial education, they often do not receive the same level of attention and support as men, and as we know, financial education is critical for women at of all ages, I should say. So remember that it is never too late to learn about money. And the sooner you start, the better off you will be. Now, let's look at the first reason why women should be financially educated. Women should be financially educated because they are often the ones in charge of the household finances and making decisions about the family budget. 
So are you the primary breadwinner in your household? And if so, you are not alone. Because according to a recent study by Pew Research Center, half of all households in America are, are now headed by women who are either the primary or the co-breadwinner. Okay, so I would also add that at 60.2%, Black households have the highest share of female-headed households. This is a remarkable change, okay, from just a few decades ago, when the majority of households were led by men. So while this shift has been good for overall gender equality, it can also present some unique financial challenges for women. This means that women should be savvy with their money and make sure that every penny is accounted for. Unfortunately, though, many of us do not know how to properly manage our money. So the basic understanding of financial concept is very important for women because they are often the primary decision makers when it comes to household finances and budgeting. Therefore, they have to make sure that the family's day-to-day -day finances are properly managed. And the one, I would say on the one hand, they usually have a better understanding of what the family needs and how to get the best deals on essential items. And on the other hand, too often they are left to figure out financial matters on their own without any guidance or support. So this needs to change. And financial education should be a priority for all women, regardless of their background or their circumstances. Because with the right financial knowledge, they will be better equipped to make smart choices about how to save and how to spend money. Also, they will be able to build a bright financial future for themselves and their families. So I will repeat that. It is time for women to take control of their finances and make their voice heard when it comes to financial matters. Because with the right tools and resources, they can create a strong financial foundation for themselves and for their families. And as they often say, knowledge is power but women are not always taught how to manage money properly. And as a result, they often make financial mistakes that can have devastating consequences for their families. So what can women do to better handle their household finances? Well, first, firstly, I would say they need to be educated. They need to educate themselves about financial matters, plain and simple. This can be done by reading books or articles on the subject matter, taking classes, um, speaking to financial advisors. Okay, secondly, uh, women need to be honest with themselves about their financial situation. They need to track their incomes and expenses and make realistic budgeting decisions. And lastly, women need to communicate with their partner about financial matters. This includes sharing financial goals and discussing how money will be spent. So I will end this point by saying that by taking these steps, right, women should be better able to handle household finances and make sound decisions about the family budget. Now let's look at the second reason why women should financially, I should say, uh, why women should be financially educated. When financially educated women are more independent, make better financial decisions, and understand their right and responsibility, okay, when it comes to money, okay? So the second reason for women 
Um, the second reason why women should be educated is they must be, um, this make them, uh, again, more independent. Um, as I said, they could make better financial decisions and they understand their rights and responsibilities when it comes to money. So women have always been the backbone of society, carrying the weight of families and communities on their shoulders. And yet, for far too long, they have been disadvantaged when it comes to financial matters. They lack the basic financial education um, needed to make sound financial decisions, and this has a number of negative consequences. They have difficulties making end meets, ends meet as they are paid less than men for doing the same work. And they are often not given the same opportunity to build their careers or accumulate wealth. As a result, women are more likely to live in poverty than men. And they are also more likely to experience financial abuse and being taken advantage of financially. So as far as, as I can see, when women, I would say when women are given the tools to better understand money and how to manage it effectively, they have the power to improve their financial situation and achieve true financial independence. Uh, women who are financially literate are better able to make sound financial decisions. They are better able to uh, negotiate for better pay and benefits. And they are better able to navigate the often complex world of personal finance. So, Consequently, they can claim their rightful place atop the financial world because with the right knowledge and education, they can change their life, they can change their lives and the world for the better. Also, I would say financial education gives women um, the tools they need. Uh, to start their own businesses and build their careers. And as a result, financially educated women are more independent and better able to achieve financial security. Moreover, when women are financially literate, the whole economy benefits. We see improved financial outcomes for families, reduced inequality, and increased economic growth as they are able to take control of their finances and build a brighter future for themselves and for the economy as a whole. I will end this second point by saying that money is one of the most important things in our lives. It is a tool that allows us to live the life we desire to live. And just like any other tool, knowing about how to use it results in a better utilization. So not understanding it and not knowing how to use it can easily be a source of stress and anxiety simply because we tend to feel that we are not good enough with money or we don't know enough about it. So this is why financial education is, is so, so important. I will say that when we are financially educated, we are more likely to make better financial decisions and understand our rights and our responsibility when it comes to money. And I will say it again. And the third and last reason is um, financially educated women are able to plan for their retirement and make better financial decisions in the later years. Well, although retirement may seem like a long way off for many, it is never too early to start planning for it. Women in particular 
need to be aware of the unique financial challenges they face in retirement because of their prolonged prolonged careers, their caregiving responsibilities, their longevity, and of course, the lower wages that they earn. So we know by now that women have long been at a disadvantage when it comes to financial planning and retirement planning, right? Often they are not given the same opportunities as men to earn a livable wage. And as a result, they often have less money saved for retirement. And because they typically are paid less than men um, um, during their working years, women receive less income than men do from Social Security, pensions, and other sources when they retire, making it more likely for them to live in poverty in their later years. Furthermore, women tend to live longer than men. That's a fact. The, 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 the statistic shows it, meaning that they need to plan for a longer retirement. So looking at these facts, right, financial education becomes necessary to help close the gender gap when it comes to retirement planning. And trust me, once women are given the tools to understand and manage their finances, they are better equipped to plan for their retirement, build a nest egg that will last them through their golden years and make sound financial decision in their their later years. Well, financial education, as I said, is definitely the key to ensuring that women have a comfortable and secure retirement. Also, women must understand that planning for retirement is an important task, no matter how old you are. And it is a fact that too often we leave this job to the last minute or we put it off altogether. The good news is that with a little bit of um, uh, of education and some forward thinking, women can take ownership of their future, put themselves in a strong position to design a plan that will allow them to retire on their own terms and enjoy a comfortable retirement they are excited about. I will also add that Uh, Financial education should be promoted at all levels of society. Okay, starting from the primary school level, young girls should be taught about budgeting, about saving, about investing, so that they can enter adulthood with a solid foundation of financial knowledge. So because... Uh, I would say by becoming financially educated, they can secure their own future and ensure that they live a comfortable life in retirement. So I am going to wind down some and summarize what I talked about for the past 24 minutes uh, today. I talk about why women um, should be um, financially educated and I focus on three reasons, right? Um, women are often the one who are in charge of the household finances and in charge of making decisions for the family budget. Two, uh, women can become more independent if they are financially educated. They could make better financial decisions and understand their right and responsibility when it comes to money. And lastly, they can plan for their retirement and make better decisions uh, I would, I should say, better financial decisions in their later years. Well, as I see it, we, the women, have a unique set of financial needs and goals. Yet, all too often we neglect our own financial planning in favor of taking care of others. The fact is, if we don't take the time to educate ourselves about personal finance, we are putting our future at risk. Financial, um, I would say, how to put it um, nicely. Financial education is critical for women of all ages.
but it is especially important as we approach retirement. As I noted a few moments ago, women tend to live longer than men. So we need to make sure our retirement savings will last. We also need to be proactive about managing our money so that we can enjoy our later years without worry. So with a little knowledge and planning, we can take control of our finances and secure a bright future. So my last words for today's show would be, there are a number of financial education programs available online and through community organizations. This program can provide women with the knowledge they need to make sound financial decisions. In addition, there are a number of books and magazines and other resources available that can help women learn about personal finance and investing. Some of these resources are specifically designed for women, while others are general financial resources that can be beneficial for all investors. So no matter what method you choose to educate yourself financially, it is important to remember that knowledge is power. The more we, you know about personal finance and investing, the better equipped you will be to make sound financial decisions. Okay, I'm saying it again. When it comes to financial planning, women have the power to make a difference in their own lives and the lives of their families. That is where merging life and money comes in, my company. We are a financial education company committed to helping women gain the knowledge and skills they need to make sound financial decisions. We know that money can be a taboo subject, but we believe that education is a key to empower women to take control of their finances because with the right knowledge, you can make um, smart choices that will benefit you throughout your life. So whether you are just starting to think about retirement or you are already in your golden years, we can help you plan for a bright financial future. So visit visit our website to learn more about our services and how we can help you achieve your financial goals. Uh, I'm going to put... Um, a banner there that show you my information. Here it is. And as you know, I like to end my show with a quote. And today I chose a quote from a lady, a woman by the name of Linda Davis Taylor. And it reads, give a woman a dollar and she can put it to good use. Teach her about how money really works and she can change the world. I totally agree with that. Linda Davis Taylor is the former CEO and chairman of a company called Clifford Swan Investment Counselors in Pasadena, California. And she's also a champion for women's economic independence and strength. Well, this brings us to the end of today's Merging Life and Money episode. I hope that you have enjoyed enjoyed today's show, and I totally encourage you to watch the replay and make sure to share it with others. So for more information about how to achieve financial wellness from the inside out and live a purposeful life with the money that you have, join me next week, Thursday at 5 p.m., Pacific Standard Time, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time, 9 p.m. Atlantic Time for my Bermudian friends, and 10 a.m. Friday, Brisbane, Australia Time for my Australian friends. Thank you for being here today on the Merging Life and Money Show. I am your host, Marie-Jo Cesar. I will be back again. Uh, next week. Until then, continue merging 
Life and Money. Bye for now. Thank <music> you.